Hi everybody, I just thought I'd make you a quick video because I don't tend to make as many for my blog as I would like. Um, no particular reason for that apart from time pressure I suppose, but they're very, they can be very brief but still display a lot. Now this is something I put together yesterday and it's white um, cotton with a spot on it, I don't know if you can see that. And I put some of this nice fabric I've recently bought with piping cord in it and then a little bit of lace separating it there just to add a different surface across that piece and it's not damn stretched I only started it last night and um, so far I've got bullion loops over the piping cord down to about there and then because that's what was in my hoop okay I worked both seams simultaneously so when I got to the end of the hoop with the bullion block knots I started to put little scallops on the pink edge now I can pull in but I'm just hoping it doesn't blur let's see right maybe not so hopefully you can see them tiny little scallops along the edge again just up to this point because that was as far as I got and um, it's quite thick because what I'm going through there is a fold over of the pink and a fold over of the lace and there's possibly a little bit of green under there as well yeah that's how the back looks sorry that's how the back looks so you know it's quite thick to stitch through um but these are really meditative to do these these lovely little scallops so i've done them now what i'm thinking with this i'm thinking about these other pieces that you will have seen i'll pull out again now this one that i had on my blog yesterday and um, that one okay which derived from this one they're all deriving from this one you remember this one i'm sure pull it into the camera a bit more so this one and then this one is partially finished and then this one which is on silk whereas these two are on broderie on glaze now what i'm wondering why i did this was because i'm wondering if if i move that out of the way so that all that's on the table is this one Let's say this gets finished, the embellishment on that gets finished. Not that piece perhaps, but something similar as an addition to this piece. I'm looking at contrasts of fabric surfaces and there's doodling on there and obviously there's doodling on there and there's doodling on there, okay. Um, so, I'm possibly gonna doodle on here as well. But I want to do a bit more embroidery on it first to see how I feel about that because it'll tell me if it wants doodling on it. Um, but really, I need to be looking at how these would maybe live together if a strip of broderie on glaze with this kind of treatment was added to it. Or maybe if that was added to it and how could I develop that and what would it end up being I've no idea about that yet I'm literally just playing because I'm kind of sampling at the minute because it's too late to make anything specific to get it finished to take to London so I'm literally just enjoying a few quiet moments when I'm not in the madness of the London preparation uh, enjoying a few quiet moments just sampling and playing and thinking and storing it all in my head um, so that's what I'm up to. So you may get to see this quite a few times over the next couple of days. I'd quite like to develop this a little bit more. I had this on my blog yesterday and I was saying about transporting it to London and I was going to do this with it. And I've been given a couple of bits of advice which are good advice. I don't have time to order the styrofoam things because I'm leaving early next week. Um, the cardboard tubes was a good idea but the thing is I don't mind the fold lines when I get to London because the, the reason they're being mounted like this is because they're not finished and they can be damp stretched again this one can't be damp stretched again because it is finished so I am going to try and find a cardboard tube for that that Christine kindly suggested and um, that will go on a cardboard tube with some calico wrapped around it but that one that one and this one, because they're all works in progress, will just be pinned to calico and rolled. Because anything that happens like that doesn't matter because I can damp stretch it when I get it home. It's like a, a screwed up crease that I'm trying to avoid. So, you know, that's my thinking there. So I just thought I'd like to say hi because I'm going to disappear next week. I'm wondering if I'll have time. Um, 
I need a blog for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I need five blogs if I'm going to schedule for when I'm not here. I don't know that I'll have time to make five tiny videos, but that is my plan, you know. So don't just abandon me, check back and see if I have done anything when I'm not here. Um, I'm hoping five little three minute videos perhaps, what they're going to be about I don't know, but maybe you know that'll keep you interested while I'm not here because blog world is so fickle, you go off the scene for two minutes and everyone's forgotten about you and gone somewhere else, um, not everyone and you do have a core support and I'm very appreciative of that and you know I, I mean I think you're all amazing, my core supporters, my core readers that never fail and never abandon me, but in terms of getting consistency with new people it's important to keep it going so that's my plan but don't hold me to it because if I don't get it done um, I'll feel like I've let you down but so I'm gonna have to do it now anyway we'll see I'm gonna try my best but this is what's on my mind at the moment this is what I'm working with okay so I hope you enjoyed that quick is it five minutes six minutes okay <laughs>